Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Drone registry is back in force. A quick synopsis of drone registration issues. And IDRA founder becomes organization CEO. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. President Donald Trump has signed the defense authorization bill that includes a reinstatement of the FAA's drone registry that was invalidated by a federal judge in May. The language was included in the $700 billion National Defense Authorization Act. The FAA released a statement supportive of the language in the bill. We welcome the reinstatement of registration rules for all small unmanned aircraft, the FAA said. Ownership identification helps promote safe and responsible drone operation and is a key component to full integration. The D.C. Court of Appeals had ruled that the FAA did not have the authority to regulate model aircraft. When it was first instated, the agency said that it had put the registration and operational regulations in place to ensure that drones are operated in a way that is safe and does not pose security and privacy threats. We are in the process of considering our options in response to the decision. Under the new rules, drones weighing between 0.55 pounds and 55 pounds will again be required to be registered with the federal government when the legislation becomes effective. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The Los Angeles Fire Department has for the first time used its drones in efforts to contain the Skirball Fire, which has destroyed several high-value homes in Southern California. LAFD Chief Ralph Terrazas said for the first time ever, we're going to use our drones. Shortly after that statement was made, a fireman piloted one of the department's two quadcopters over an area scorched by the fire. The first annual Toys for Tots FPV drone race is this December 16th. A club member's donation of a $10 or more unwrapped toy gets them entered into an exciting day of FPV drone racing with Good Times FPV Racing Crew. Non-members can also join in the fun with $10 or more unwrapped toy donation plus a $10 donation fee which goes to the Silent Electric Flyers of San Diego. This is an AMA flying field so you must have an AMA membership to join. Drone racing is fun and exciting for both the spectators and the pilots but the latter group also can face a lot of expense when it comes to their hobby. The new Draco drone and the Draco HD drone are designed to be less expensive up front, and their modular design makes them easier to repair in a lot of cases. The Draco drone retails for $699, with the Draco HD ringing the cash register at $100 more. Big Bend Community College in Moses Lake, Washington, has received accreditation for its UAS program from the Northwest Commission on Colleges and Universities. The accreditation means that students can receive an associate's degree of applied sciences in the program beginning in January. That was our Drone Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. With registration coming back, AMA has summarized a few issues of immediate concern and the questions that are being raised. If I already registered, do I have to register again? You will not have to register again since the bill simply reverses the John Taylor case. AMA will share more as details emerge. Do I need to register again if I requested a refund and asked to be removed from the registration list? You will need to re-register only if you received FAA confirmation that your request to be removed from the database was honored. I did not request a refund or removal from the registration database. Will my registration number and expiration date stay the same? Yes, your registration number and expiration date will remain the same unless you requested the FAA remove your information from the database and received FAA confirmation of this removal. How do I register? You can register at registermyuas.faa.gov 
If you need assistance, please call 877-396-4636. For more information on these and other questions, please be sure to check modelaircraft.org. The International Drone Racing Association has announced that the company's founder, Justin Haggerty, will take a full-time role as president and CEO this December, after recently transitioning from the U.S. Army. The change comes at a great moment when IDRA is growing the 2018 season from 14 races to 27, partnering with major events and venues. Additionally, the company continues to increase its insurance business as a premier provider for primary liability insurance with worldwide coverage for pilots as IDRA members. This October, IDRA announced that the company was expanding the service to all drone events. I'm greatly looking forward to supporting the 2018 season in a full-time capacity, said Justin Haggerty, the founder and CEO of IDRA. Since IDRA's founding in 2015, it has been difficult to give the company the time required to fully pursue new opportunities and grow its presence in the sport. My duty and service to the country came first, often hindering the ability to travel and execute IDRA's mission. Despite the challenges, IDRA has remained a leader, organizing several of the largest racing series in the world establishing valuable partnerships with venues and events to grow the spectator experience, and expanding business operations to provide insurance services to pilots and drone events worldwide. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airport Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.